here's the tea, people. I'm using my indoor voice. It pains me to have to say this, but I am deep throat too, after all. I've kicked the tires on this Kamala Harris person. Here's my conclusion, yo. Number one, someone should ask her for her definition of the word fascism. Someone should ask her what her picture is for the word fascism. Right? Wow. Thank you, Anderson Cooper. For such a wonderful October surprise. Two, my second conclusion. Kamala Harris is trying to pink wash the election, yo. Look at that. The Freudian slip. I'm not ashamed. You fell better and better and better and better. Oh my gosh. Right? Let me say it more clearly with a little bit more light. Kamala Harris is trying to pink wash the United States of America's election. We're going to trade everything for a woman's right to choose. Everything's going away for a woman's right to choose, which she cannot make happen. She cannot manifest it. Now, if you watching out there, drip, 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 have any questions about manifestation, I invite you to watch my YouTube narrative. The numbers increase daily. Right? Someone should ask Mad Dog Mattis what his definition of fascism is. Jeff Bezos should be ashamed. I always wondered about that sanctimonious line, democracy dies in darkness. Well, then how come the Washington Post isn't publishing the real deal, my friends? The buck stopped with me for years ago. I lived on the same block as David Voinerovich, and I have ants. Just a few. They're props. They were put there by my Hollywood friends. I say don't vote at all in this upcoming election. I say boycott the electoral process. I've been saying that. We have an emergency, people. Code red. I repeat, Kamala Harris is trying to pink wash the election. That means she's trying to use soft, fuzzy, they think, issues. I'm a member of ACT UP. Larry Kramer knows me. Rest in power, buddy. He had me over for, well, we didn't even have tea. We talked about harm reduction and how you write and live. I lived through fascism in the 80s. It was called government non-response to HIV AIDS. Picture that, Kamala. Picture that, Barack. Hey, picture that, Michelle. Right? Because guess what? Madonna... Rihanna and Beyonce agree with me. Why the fuck do you think childish 
Gambino called out sick on his goddamn tour. Fuck this world. Fiona Apple was right in the 90s, yo. Fuck this world and look what Fiona's doing now. Working on behalf of imprisoned black mamas. <laughs> your mama, right? Progressive prosecutor, my fucking ass. They've been lying, 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 lying. And by the way, I'm doing the opposition research myself and getting it out there along with a lot of my friends. Because it's true, the whole world's watching and we are being penetrated over and over. It's like a fucking gang fuck up in here. What's that called? An orgy? Ah, look how my cold sore is healing. Damn, I look good, yo. Right? I mean, somebody should just keep a tracker and every time Kamala Harris has changed her fucking mind. Right? Someone should ask her, why are you campaigning with Liz Cheney? Why are you campaigning with generals? Do you think you're a general? Do you think that this is what John Coltrane would have wanted, girl? It's bad enough you rope Stevie Wonder into singing Redemption Song when you can't even say your picture. For fascism is the Israeli state's destruction of Gaza? With the United States express support. Wow, girl. Wow, right? Mimo, I was teaching. I keep checking. I was teaching. Right? I'm stressed, yo. I'm stressed. The first time... My cold stress came back the morning I woke up from my first trip to Johannesburg. And I haven't even told my Johannesburg story yet. Nobody's even heard my Johannesburg story yet. Right? I am the master of timing. Right? So do not worry, friends. You don't have to vote anymore. Trump was right. Nobody gives a shit anymore about Washington. What the press, the fucking elites, the politicians, Hillary, Bill, all of these motherfuckers keep missing is that America is a populist state, not a fascist state, a populist state. Our elites are fascist. They always want to put out the populism through brute force. Now, that would be an interesting conversation to have, right, with somebody on the differences between populism and fascism. But this country began, as I always tried to explain to my ex-partner, Scott, we are in Scorpio season now, people. And Scorpio people hate to change, except for the ones who do. And they're some of my favorite people on the planet. And they kind of like me, too, right? Yo, people, yo. Kamala may make a mean bolognese, but she also makes a bad fucking politician and not bad in a good way. Girl couldn't find her way out of a fucking paper bag. Right? <laughs> Somebody should ask her which way up is. <laughs> right? right? Because she's for a Green New Deal, but she's also for fracking. Right? Make that make sense, people. <laughs> it ain't. Make no sense anytime soon, okay? Neither here nor there, there is no there there. Okay, let's just say stop, right? We can launch a boycott divestment sanctions movement against the United States of America. Hey, let's just launch it now. I just need a second, right? I know parliamentary procedure, right? Fairfax County Part 2. Thank you, TJHSST. Thank you to my friends who've always lifted me encourage me to go higher. I get to pass that on, pay it forward every day now with the most talented group of people I've ever had the pleasure of working with in Pasadena. And it's top secret, right? Except nobody can come for me because everything I'm saying is so extremely well documented. Hey, after all, I wrote a dissertation on it. Right. So I, for one, cannot wait 
for this shit show to be over so I can stop thinking about it. Except that I can't stop thinking about this, right? Because we are literally in an extinction crisis right now. And that's what we're seeing, right? All this rush to war. <laughs> People have gone and lost their mind. So when the fucking mainstream press on Substack or on the mainstream press asks why the people are so delusional, they should point that question to Kamala and ask her, what is your position, girl, on anything? Because how do you vote for a problem like... Kamala, and the problem is the color line. It's miscegenation. That's why I'm going to yell next year. Fuck this shit. Okay, Tavia for the win. I have to return this book to the library tomorrow. You know, it's just it's so stupid. It lived on the same block as David Wojnarowicz for eight years. That's my inheritance. That's my destiny. The amalgamation waltz. Right? It's all ruses. Right? Some people are better at performing them than others. Right? But the Boston Tea Party people, right? Come on. We're anti-elites in this country. And for some reason, the elites don't seem to get that. Right? Well, guess what? I'm also anti-elite. Why? My parents are anti-elite. Why? They're New Yorkers. Right? Which is why my gut does keep telling me Trump's going to pull this out. Because I'm going to pick a New Yorker over a Californian any day of the week, hate to tell you that. And she's not even a real Californian, right? Trump actually is a real New Yorker, just like I'm a fucking real New Yorker. Right, Kamala? I don't even know what Kamala is. I know she lived in Montreal at some point. You know what I mean? But she doesn't even have a coherent narrative. It's all appropriative. Right? As my phone falls. Okay, I need to chill. This looks much worse right now than it actually is. It just means the lighting is so good. And look at my skin. I mean, look at my hair. Right? Look at my discipline. I have... <laughs> not that it's anybody's business, but just as a measure of my discipline, in addition to my hair look, it takes a lot of work and a lot of intention to have a hair that looks this good. Thank you always to my bestie, Esty. I like initials too, not just Madonna does. <sighs> I also like numbers. Anybody see the TV show 24? My parents are experts on that show. Where do they hear what I'm working on next? Ciao for now. I've been Sean MP and have you been woke or have you been wakeful? Because anybody who actually believes in God, believes in peace because God wanted peace on earth. And I do not understand why some people's heads are so thick. Mine's pretty thin for such a big brain, don't you think? But again, it goes back to that discipline, which is what I was going to say. And let me not leave you on a cliffhanger for those of you still wondering when the last time I had sex was. It was in January, folks count those months. That's pretty good for me. Arthur and I, we're going to have kids now. Okay, we're moving on to the kids era of our life. Together. Okay, Jesus Christ. I'm part Colombian. I'm part Mexican. I'm Peruvian too. I mean, has anybody read the Roberto Bolaño? <laughs> Damn, there needs to be a lot of re-education in the U.S. of A. Okay, the Israeli model is not one we should be following. Why? The Israeli model is the South African model, only worse. Think about that, my friends. I bid you adieu a second time, Chavarna.